This is a graphical representation of a refrigeration cycle and we're going to start discussing this refrigeration cycle right here and we're going to call this uh, an expansion valve or an expansion device. You'll hear it referred to as a TXV or a fixed orifice typically but what it does is expands this liquid we have right here. We have a, uh, a warm liquid refrigerant on this side of this expansion device and as it goes through this expansion device it expands into a lower pressure liquid and eventually it flashes or expands into a gas. This liquid will travel down this copper tube that goes to what's called the evaporator coil. Now the evaporator coil has aluminum fins that are attached to it and what that does is helps the heat from the inside air that's blowing over this coil to absorb into the, the copper or the aluminum fins and the copper tube and then into the refrigerator gas. So where the evaporator coil gets its name is this liquid enters the coil and, and evaporates and by the time it gets to the end of the coil it's totally evaporated and there's no liquid left in it and so we have a gas by the time it reaches the end of the evaporator coil. So this is our evaporator coil and the gas exits this evaporator coil and it's picked up all of this heat uh, so it's a, a uh, gas. It will This line will feel cold to the touch uh, but it, it's a gas and not a liquid, so it's entering the compressor and basically a compressor is either a piston type pump or some type of a scroll positive, positive displacement pump and so you, sometimes you'll, and many times you'll hear this copper line referred to as the suction line because it's going into the suction side of the compressor or pump. So the pump is sucking this gas in and what the compressor or pump does is it compresses or pumps this gas up into a high pressure gas and this high pressure gas picks up heat as it goes through the, the, the compressor and, and uh, comes out through this copper line and enters what we call the condenser coil and the condenser coil is similar to the evaporator coil in that its job is to dissipate the heat. So it's also got lots of aluminum fins attached to it to help expand the surface area and the air blows over this coil and blows the heat out of it. So as this high pressure, high temperature gas travels through this condenser the gas condenses into a liquid and that's where the condenser coil gets its name as a condenser. It condenses back into a liquid and by the time it reaches the end of this coil it should be totally liquid. Then it travels through the copper tube back to the expansion device and starts the cycle all over again. So we have our evaporator and then we have our condenser And we also have what's called the low side and the high side of the system. So that happens right here. The low side, and you'll hear it referred to it as low pressure or low side, and then the high pressure or high side. There are also a couple of other components. We have a propeller type fan on the outside unit and it's called the condenser fan motor and condenser fan then we have a fan on the inside that's called the evaporator fan and the evaporator fan motor so that's the basic components of your refrigeration system